Hi friends, welcome back to Angular Project Tutorial. This is the third video of the student management tutorial, right? So we will create a basic crude application for students and as a backend we will use the JSON database. So last day we have created this database that is we will use the JSON database and we have created this student management application so we can see in the browser which is running right so student management app is running so in this video i am going to create a component for all type of functionality that is add edit delete or you can say login registration and listing okay so we'll create a component for each types and we'll create a route link for each component okay so if you don't see my previous video you can see from the playlist i will provide the link inside my description box so right now i am going to create component so this is my project application is running now i want to create a new tab right and here we'll create component so to create component we need to write ng g for generate c for component and i want to add all the components inside a specific folder so just go to the src and inside the app we will create a folder the name will be suppose components and inside the components all the components will be there okay so that we will get easily all the components at a same place right so just use the components and the name of the component suppose at student okay so it will create a component so you can see the at student component css and html file and the typescript file and already we will get the ts file that is the spec.ts file so if you just go here and check this is the components folder and inside the folder we will get the app student folder and in this folder we'll get all the components file right so this will look good and we'll get all the components inside the components folder right so i just little zoom out right so so in this way we'll create the another component so for add student and then edit student so right edit student and in this way we'll create the list student so in the list student component we will create a list of all the students so list student and we don't need delete option as we'll delete from the listing page right so we'll not create the delete component and we'll create the login component and the registration component okay so login component created and the last one is registration component okay so the five components we have created so now just go to the visual studio code here we'll get all the components here right so there is add edit list login and register so all components are created now i am going to see all the components link here so that if we just click on uh, suppose add or edit or delete sorry list you will get the separate page for each okay so how we can do this so let's go to this page so if you just go to the visual studio code you can see the app component is the main component of any angular project so if you just go to the html file that is app.render.html file there is all the cursor for this okay so i will simply just remove all the things suppose i am writing a tag that is inside the h1 suppose i am writing simple student management right so i want to m as caps so just go here and you can see the student management okay so here we will create all the links right so before that we need to create link so how we can create links so to create links we need to use the routing so app routing module dot ts is our routing file so to use any components inside the routes first we need to import all the things so just write import and the component name from dot slash components folder inside the components add student and the typescript file add student dot component and what will be the component name so 
add student component right so in this way we will add all the uh, components which we have just created so right here from dot slash component and after that edit student slash edit student component and right here the edit student component and the same way use the list student so just right here from components slash edit student sorry edit student already done so we'll use the list student and then list student component right so we left the login and registration so right here list component list student component and we'll import the login so right here from and slash components actually we need to add the specific path right so where the component dot ts is present so right so just go inside the components folder and inside the components and inside the components we will get the folder name and then component so this is there is the component then the folder name and then the typescript file okay so four are included now one thing is left so right import and from the last one is the registration component right so right components slash registration student slash registration student component right and import the registration student okay so all the components are added inside our routes and now we need to create the path for specific components right so how we can do this so this is simply a array so inside this array we can write any kind of paths and we can use the component for this so we'll use in this way so there is a path and the component right so in the path section we will write the path for add student we will simply use add and for this we will use the add student component right and in the same way just copy these things and pasting here another four times okay and just add comma here also comma 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 okay all done and now format right so it looks good now here write the edit and for edit we will use the edit component that is edit student component and then list login and register so right here list sorry list and here the component will be list student component and then login and the login student component so this and the final one is the register right and we'll use the registration component okay so all the path is set so if we just go here and click on add or edit and list we can call this so if we just click here and write add then we will call the add student component in this way if you write in the browser that is edit and that will call the edit student component so in this way the routing is working right so now we need to add this link into here so we will create some links into here so that by clicking on this we can navigate to another component or another page right so how we can do this so just go here and use ul so now i am not considering any styling so we'll install the bootstrap and we'll create a proper navigation in the next video for now i am showing you how the routing is working right so just create an anchor tag and href and here we'll create the router link so we don't need href actually so in angular we don't need href so we need to use the router link okay so router link what will be the link so i want to uh, use the add student and 
we need to add the add link right so this is the add for add student okay so if you now just go to browser we can see the add student link right so in this way we will create another four links so for edit student list student login student and the registration student okay so here write edit okay first add then list then edit and we'll delete from the listing page and here write login and share write register okay so we'll just use the link that is edit so for edit we'll use this for list just copy and paste here and for login so just use the login and the last one is register right so if we just go to the browser we can see the five links are created now click on this so it is going to add and click on this it's going to the list and edit but we can see the value from this component actually when you click on add student it should call the add student component so if the add student component will call then we will get the output from add student so simply just go here add student and add student component.html so we should see add student works right so but here we cannot see the output from this html file so how can we solve this problem so actually when in angular we will use the router link we need to call the router outlet also so we need to use the tag router outlet right and now if you just go to the browser and you can see the registration student works so if you click on add the add student works basically these things are coming from the specific component html file right so click on list it's coming from list component file so next video install the bootstrap and then we'll create a link with a proper navigation so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and thanks for watching this video have a good day bye